Let's bring in some more perspective here. I'm being joined on the broadcast by uh, G. Ulagnathan, a senior journalist who's joining us. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, you know, when it comes to pothole roads and Karnataka and Bengaluru specifically, we've seen deadline after deadline, nothing's been done. And now another 15-day deadline that's been put by the court. Uh, do you really think it's going to make a difference and we're actually going to see this taken care of? Unfortunately, only the High Court of Karnataka seems to be uh, taking a tough stand on this. I don't think anybody in the government is bothered. The, presently, the assembly session is going on, and nobody has, no, none of the MLAs have raised this issue in the assembly. Chief Minister Bommai, uh, sometime back, said within 30 days, he will personally ensure that all the potholes are filled. Nothing has been done. Yesterday, the, in the assembly, the MLAs were only discussing that the Kashmir files, who, there was a free screening for them, and they were planning to go there or whether to see or not to see. This uh, unfortunate death of this 27-year-old Ashwin is not the first of its... It, it's, I think, seventh or eighth. It's not yes. sixth, seventh or eighth uh, young man who has died. The reason is not only the BBMP, there are multiple agencies involved in this. BMRCL has been uh, going on uh, doing this metro work for the last five years and it is still no sign of any completion. And they have dug up every road. And secondly, you have all kinds of uh, agencies like BWSSB, the Water and uh, Drainage Board, and you have electricity department. All these people are um, uh, using the public roads for their uh, repair works, and they don't do they don't uh, set it right after the repair is completed. So finally, it is left to the BBMP. Now, BBMP, the, the Chief Justice himself, the Chief Justice of High Court himself, uh, at least a month ago, had called the Chief Engineer of uh, BBMP and told him that they will not hesitate to imprison him, send him to jail if he doesn't do it in 15 days. Now, that 15 days has gone. He gave some excuse. He came and gave some excuse. It will be done. Now, another 15 days has been given. I think this is not going to help. Yesterday, incidentally, at the High Court, the uh, Commissioner of the BBMP as well as the Chief Engineer of um, BBMP were present. And still, they have asked for 15 days. And, you know, the interesting thing is Karnataka is one state which invested a lot of money in getting the modern machinery for filling up potholes. This happened uh, during Sudramaya's government, uh, the previous Congress government. Mm. Where have all the machinery machines gone? Nobody knows. They have not been used. And these potholes uh, keep on um, coming up immediately after each rain. And then the, they put the, the blame game starts. This agency has done it, they have done it, they have done it. Nobody wants to own up the responsibility. And unfortunately, the public, you know, Bangalore has got nearly 17 MLAs. And what are these MLAs doing? Each MLA should be given a responsibility for his own constituency to go around and ensure that it's pothole free. That has not been done. The government has to have the uh, intention. If I don't see that happening. Yes, absolutely. I completely agree with you and, and the points that you've raised. Uh, Tara Krishnaswamy is also joining me on the phone line here. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Tara Krishnaswamy, for joining us as well. Uh, you know, we've seen in the past uh, innovative methods that citizens, residents have used to try and draw uh, the government's attention to these potholes. Five lives have been lost in the last seven months. Now the court has stepped in. Uh, do you think that this step in by the court is actually going to make a material difference? No, I don't. Uh, I don't think the judiciary has any uh, ability to do the executive's job. That is more than apparent because this is not the only time the court has stepped in. Um, it is not scalable. In fact, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's remarkable that the court has said that uh, potholes must be prioritized and fixed, at least in the central business district, kind of um, creating an apartheid between the more privileged areas in the CBD and the rest of Bangalore, where the roads are in appalling condition as well. Um, so, no, I don't think the judicial intervention is going to help in this case. And I don't think MLAs in any way should be made responsible or are responsible for the condition of the roads. The Bangalore Municipal Corporation, the city corporation, is who is responsible for the roads. And for nearly now one and a half to two years, almost we have not had a uh, elected corporation. So uh, basically, no one is responsible for the potholes in their ward. BBMP has its uh, the the corporation, which is BBMP, has the engineers who work on it. The uh, but 
uh, doesn't have any councillors who are that the citizens can hold accountable. So, so to whose neck do you choke, if you will, if uh, when the uh, you know when the ball is dropped? So that is the first thing that needs to get fixed. The second order of business is we can buy all the machines we want, but the BBMP is grossly understaffed and under resourced. If you speak to the uh, BBMP commissioner. Uh, he or she will tell you, the mayor or the mayor, the he or she will tell you, the ex-mayor, they will tell you that, uh, you know, it's not even staffed up to half the capacity. So a, a city of staggering size with, uh, you know, nearly uh, 1.3, 1.4 crore people uh, with uh, daily uh, sort of inflow of immigrants and vehicles and uh, use of roads uh, cannot possibly be run by a municipal corporation that is so hobbled that it is at half capacity and the budget uh, for the revenues that the city raises and funds the rest of Karnataka, the budget of BBMP is woefully inadequate. So I think there is a complete overhaul of this uh, needed. And we need to, uh, in fact, the chief minister is uh, responsible for Bangalore development. I think that is not a positive. Um, that is a negative because um, obviously he's an extremely busy man looking after the state. And uh, we need uh, someone who, within the corporation, the mayor, an elected uh, uh, representative who is responsible for the city and whom citizens can go and approach. It yes. is also a fact, lastly, I will say that one of the biggest impediments to this is the fact that roads are not owned by the BBMP alone. Mm. The electricity board, the BESCOM, which is a parastatal, uh, unaccountable to citizens, uh, is allowed to dig it up uh, freely without responsibility necessarily for closing it up, and BBMP cannot hold uh, BESCOM's collar. Similarly, BWSSD, our water board, can do the same. The smart city guys come all the way from Delhi and uh, dig up roads. They are allowed to do the same. Uh, and then, of course, you have private operators like your, you know, uh, uh, those that lay the cables, the telephone, uh, uh, you know, 4G, that sort of thing. All of them are, you know, your Reliance, your Airtel, all of them are digging it up. So, and then PWD and then the Karnataka Road Corporation. Basically, any given road, any given stretch is a free-for-all belonging to multiple agencies with no elected nodal authority that is responsible or has the ownership for it that the citizens can hold accountable. Yes. Until these things are fixed, we're going to be singing the same tune over and over. Yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, Mr. Lagnatham, coming back to you, between what both of you have said, it seems very clear that this is an entire overhaul of the system. There are multiple layers uh, that need to be addressed before this entire issue is resolved. Uh, do you see at all in terms of any kind of responses that have come in from right from the chief minister down to, you know, the BBMP officials as well uh, as to what is being done, especially now that there is one more deadline, which, uh, like you're saying, it's not going to be, uh, you know, probably possibly not going to see it uh, met, but still. No, I think uh, I will agree with uh, that lady who spoke just before me. I think uh, Bangalore needs a full-time cabinet minister because it's such a, it, and it's being developed as a smart city. And the chief minister himself holding the city portfolio doesn't help because as she says, he is busy. Yes, we accept that he is busy. But the point, what about the legislators? How why should legislators go scot-free? They have been elected to take care of their constituencies. And there are so many legislators who are supposed to do supervise the work being done in their constituency. They are not doing it. Let us accept the fact. They are not doing it. Now, putting the blame entirely on officials and saying that BBMP has to do it. Yes, BBMP has to do it. But then somebody has to sit on their head and get it done. Now, unfortunately, since the administration has failed, High Court has to step in. Is it the job of the Chief Justice of uh, Karnataka High Court to go around the city and see where the potholes are there and where uh, it has to be filled? It is not his job. Chief Justice can issue a warning. He can. They, in fact, the High Court has come down heavily on the BBMP and also the, uh, indirectly on the state government for not doing anything for the citizens' welfare. Now that the government has to take up responsibility, it has to have a full-fledged discussion in the assembly. I didn't see any discussion about the state of the city in the assembly in the last three, four days. Now that is very important, and uh, BBMP has to be. Uh, there should be somebody who should tell them. Now the commissioner is a official. Now right. the commissioner. Yeah, after all, he cannot control the entire BBMP. He can only tell them that they have to do. But there are a lot of contractors who have been recommended, who have been uh, part of the legislator's recommendation. You know, these contractors who carry out the road works, especially in places right. where I live, the contractors will not listen to the officials. They will yes. only listen to the legislator, not the local um, politicians. So. Yes. 
it has to be the i i fixed the responsibility on the legislators to do it in their own constituency that is where the city can be uh, made livable